Oh, there's one behind him, though. That's 107 behind him. 107's the, be the Beamer. Hey, Officer Johnny with Cold Springs Police. I stopped you because you're going 107 and a 65. You were following the traffic? You were passing every single car, and there was one car in front of you, which was that red Toyota. They were actually going 93. You were going 106. So, I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah. Do you have your license on you, your registration insurance, please? Thank you. All right. I was just following the flow of traffic. I didn't think All right. Well, you can't follow the flow of traffic if you're going 106 and everyone else is kind of going around the speed limit. I wasn't gaining on that. Yeah, I'm telling you, is it you and that red car? That's it. It's a work zone, though, so you have to be careful. There's workers present right now, so it's like a school zone. The fines are doubled when the workers are present, all right? So there was a red car in front of him. I think it was a Toyota, and he was telling me that he was going with the flow of traffic. I was going to pull the Toyota over, but instead, behind the Toyota, I saw this car going even faster, which was the gray BMW. He's going 106 in a 106 miles an hour in a post of 65 where it's a work zone and it's a sawgrass interstate, and there's workers present right now, and he's telling me that he's going with the flow of traffic. You can't go with the flow of traffic if you're passing every single vehicle on the sawgrass. I'm not going to argue with this guy on the side of the highway. It's just very frustrating sometimes when you have someone telling you, basically lying straight up to your face. And he's been stopped a bunch of times in our city. So, shocker. All right, sir. Your uh, license is here. I'm issuing a citation for the speed, but you have three options. You can pay it. You can go to traffic school, which is fully online, or traffic court. Whichever option you choose, you have 30 days to comply, or Florida will suspend your license. Okay, please slow it down, man. You're way too fast. All right? But you told me the guy in front of me was at 93. He was, yeah. So if he was at 93 and I was at 106, how come you didn't see me on my brakes whenever you had me pulled over? Because you were catching up to him and you started following him closely, which turns into aggressive driving. Brakes, right? I'm not going to argue with you on the side of the road. I'm just letting you know, you got caught speeding. It is what it is. Please slow it down. There's workers present. People's lives are at risk out here. No, I'm not. I'm a police officer with Coral Springs. Yes, sir. Correct. We have jurisdiction in the entire county of Broward for traffic enforcement. All right, thank you. Slow down. Hey, how you doing? Officer Trani with Coral Springs Police. Good, thank you. I stopped you because when we were on University Drive, you changed lanes pretty rapidly. You had no turn signal on or anything like that. Well, the university? Yeah, University right before 40th Street. You changed lanes really rapidly. Uh, you, you can't do that. You got to have your turn signal on, and then when it's safe to do so, when it's clear, you can turn. But um, that's the reason for the stop. Do you have your license on you, your registration insurance, please? Yeah, I got it. Are you a driving instructor? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm sorry, my friend. You got to lead by example, okay? I mean, you're supposed to be teaching people how to drive out here, and you don't want to teach them how to drive like that, because then they're going to meet me. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm, I'm, I'm it's okay. Sorry. Like I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a work zone. There's a lot of people walking around. Yeah, There's a lot I of know, construction I know, workers. I I, me, I very, very be careful. I, I, now, my, my wife go up to the do my, my daughter, mm -hmm. the car, go up to the, the doctor, my, my, my little mm -hmm. daughter. Go to the door. It's the emergency. Go to the, the doctor now at the Pompano Beach. I go to. I give the give the money hundred dollar for need to pay the doctor. I come in. I come in little rush. Oh, that's why you're driving yeah, a little I'm fast. Sorry. Okay. Me, I drive very be careful every time. Okay, good. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. All right, give me one second, okay? Okay, my friend. All right, so we're going down University, and we see this driving instructor in front of us. He changed lanes rapidly with no turn signal, and there was a decent amount of traffic. So like I already told him, I just hope that he's not teaching his students how to drive like that because it is a little aggressive out here, but it sounds like he's going through a lot right now. So I'm gonna just check his license out and we'll see if we can help him out. Just a written warning, okay, it's not a ticket. You don't have to do anything with it, but it's documented. So if you do it again, you might get a ticket next time. No ticket, just a warning, okay? If I wrote you a ticket though, it would have costed $165. I have to pay the one? No, it's a warning. Warning? Warning. Yeah. I, 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 I need a go to the court? No, it's a warning. No, I understand warning. Okay, so it's not a ticket. No ticket. No ticket. No ticket. Uh, it's just a written, like on paper, just uh -huh. a warning. You could take it, throw it in the garbage, uh -huh. or you could take it, fr frame it, put it on your wall, yeah, put it on your, your, your fridge, friend. whatever you want, I'm man. Sorry, my okay? Friend, I'm so no Thank problem. You. Just be careful. Thank yep, you're welcome. Hello. Good, man. I'm Officer Trani with Cold Springs Police. I stopped you because you're not wearing your seatbelt. It's actually click it or ticket. Uh, month right now, so you got to make sure it's on, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. Do you have your license on you, your registration insurance? I got everything on me. All right, perfect. Can I see it, please? Okay. I can take it right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. 
Let me put you right here. What kind of pants are those? <laughs> I'm serious. You got like a garbage so bag. Ah, oh, you're welcome so much. Okay, you're man. too kind. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, you have a CDL. I got CDL. Man, you gotta wear your seatbelt. What are you doing? No, my seatbelt. I put it right here. That's why I told. I said people can fix it for me. I'll show you what I got. I put it all the time. Uh huh. It's got it right here. I hook it up all the time. It's pop it up. Oh, but so for today, I come in with the company. I let the people take it back for me. Because I'm already know that. So the buckle's broken. Exactly. You see? This is this is a company truck though, right? It's a company truck. I'm yeah, I would I would make sure your boss knows so that they can get you. that fixed. I, I, you know, I talk with people today. Please fix it that for me when I pull off. Okay. You have to clip it up. Right. You okay. Know, you see? All right. So look, okay. I'm gonna check your license out. You got a CDL. You got you know the rules of tickets and all that. You can get your your license jammed up. So I'm gonna as long as your license is good, I'm not gonna write you a ticket, but I'm gonna write you a written warning, and you need to show your boss, hey. I got a I got a written warning, and the officer told me that this is a company vehicle, and it needs to get fixed immediately. Okay. okay and show him that. So we just stopped this worker today for the seatbelt violation, which is actually um, during the Click It or Ticket month. There's a campaign running around nationwide for Click It and Ticket enforcement, where cops around the entire country are cracking down on seatbelt violations. Uh, seatbelts save lives. I I truly believe that. I've seen some really bad accidents, especially working here in my five years. So please guys, wear your seatbelts out there, take it seriously, and remember it's click it or ticket time. Not just now, but during every single day of the year. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm Officer Trine with Cold Springs Police. I stopped you because when I was right next to you, you weren't wearing your seatbelt properly. All right, it was behind, yeah, it's, it's gotta be around your chest, not underneath the arm, not behind your back. It's gotta be around your chest, okay? Because if you get into a wreck, God forbid, it's not gonna do anything if it's like that. Do you have your license on your registration insurance? Is there a reason why you weren't wearing it properly? Um, to be honest, I just wasn't really thinking about it. If I had it like this under my arm. It, because of what? I just wasn't thinking about it. All right, so we're behind this driver in traffic, and she's wearing her seatbelt where, where the shoulder strap is supposed to be around your chest. Well, she had it underneath her armpit, so if she got into a wreck, God forbid, this isn't going to do anything what it's supposed to. It's not going to do its job. It's not designed for this. It's designed for this. So it's just another bad habit out here where people do that. A lot of people say they don't like wearing the seatbelt across their chest because it's uncomfortable. We could always recommend some type of like cushion or a little pillow that they sell. You always see those like gimmicky commercials where they put like a little teddy bear on the strap. Maybe that's what she needs. I don't know. Maybe she just needs something more comfy out there. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. I stopped you because uh, when we came in the work zone, you were actually on 59 and the speed limit's 35. Oh my God. I'm yeah. Do you have your license on you, yeah. your registration insurance? Also, you slowed down only because you got behind me and then you started following me like very closely. Oh, I'm so I was sorry. going 30 because the speed limit is 30. Sorry. So, where are you yeah. heading to right now? This is South Point. But you said I was going 59? Yeah, as soon as we entered the work zone, you were going 59, then you slowed down because uh, I was going 30, and then you slowed down to around 30, but then you were following me. And then you changed lanes to pass me, and then you came back in front of me with no turn signal on. So you just gotta be careful, that's all. Are you sure I was going 59? 100%. Could I slow down or is that 44? It was at 44? Yeah. No, there's, I mean, look, if it, if it really was at 44, you might wanna actually go and get it checked out because you were definitely going 59. You were passing everybody, it was clear that you were the one going 59. So we're in a different work zone now. The speed limit's 30 right here. We just passed a bunch of warnings telling everyone like, hey, you're entering a war zone, speed's reduced to 30. Then we passed the 30 mile an hour signs. As soon as we did that, there's a driver right behind me, approached me, high rate of speed, passing everybody right behind me. Uh, it's very obvious that they're the one going 59. I did a visual estimate of their speed, around 60. My radar, which is the instrument right here, is uh, confirming my speed estimate at 59 miles an hour. There's something called an audio Doppler tone, which is like that weird noise it does. Everything lined up with my speed estimate, which is how I know this is the guy was uh, definitely speeding. So he told me he was only going 44, which maybe he was after the fact he slowed down because he started tailgating me or he started coming close to me. But the workers are present right now. He's going almost double the speed limit. It's, it's just too dangerous out here for this. So apparently he's going to the beach. It's gonna be one expensive beach visit. So here's your license back. I am issuing a citation for the speed. All right, the workers are here obviously. So the fine is doubled. It's like a school zone. 
So just please be careful. Um, I could have write you more, like a careless driving. I could have wrote you one for that too, because you were, it was aggressive careless driving. Um, I didn't, but everything else is marked on the ticket. The following too closely and the improper lane change because you didn't have your turn signal on, you gotta make sure you have your signal on when there's traffic around you, okay? Um, just please slow it down. It's 30 on this road, okay? And the interstate, 65. Well, you said this road right here, like after this light? No, as soon as you pass those signs back there, there was like eight signs that were telling you like what I just told you earlier. No, because that sign over there says 45. Which sign? That sign over there was 45. It says 45 over there. Yeah, the sign over there. Past the green light says 45, correct. That's the right end of the work zone. That's where you stop. It starts earlier on this side because you're going towards the work zone. You're leaving the work zone coming off the sawgrass, so past that green light on the south side of the road, you're out. But the north side, you're not out of the work zone because the work starts back there. There's no work zone on the um, side over there. So I don't put the signs up. That's all the FDOT and the work people. So if you want to go to court and let them know that, you can do that. Okay? Okay, thank you.